And for me, that is here the opportunity to talk the next 15 minutes, 20 minutes about business, perhaps about your business. To answering this question, here's a very simple proposition. A very simple proposition. Customers are going to choose what works best for them personally and for their business. At the recent executive conference in Monaco, the European Chief Science Officer of Cisco said that the data traffic load on an IP network could be no more than 50% to guarantee the quality of service needed for voice over IP. He also said that because traffic peaks could not be ruled out in the public internet, telephony could only be implemented with dedicated connections. Ladies and gentlemen, dedicated connections. To me, that sounds a lot of, lot like connection-oriented. TDM networks. Could it be that the initial enthusiasm about using IP networks for telephony is being replaced by a more realistic, realistic view? In my talks with customers, I often hear them say they do not want to use unrefined and unreliable technologies. Technologies that slow processes down rather than speed them up. Or also called best effort networks that can be counted on to deliver the services they want to use. Not everyone is 35 times greater than now. So, the next generation internet is definitely going to require some powerful optical networking. So when I say capacity, I think of optical networking. There's another item, and at the center of the slide, and that is integration and services applica and applications. That's what I call putting it together. Sure, technology is great, but who is going to make sure complex networks run as they should? Who is going to do the integration? Who is going to train people to use these technology? Who is going to develop the new business model for an enterprise and make sure communication supports them? Who is going to supply guidance for developing and deploying technology that meet future needs? This slide simply illustrates how the, the key next generation internet technologies are distributed in the communication space. It shows that the core of the network will be based on IP routing and optical networking.